I told you, now if delays to the post have frustrated you in the past, I guarantee it'll pale into insignificance after what I'm about to tell you, because a letter has been delivered to a flat in Crystal Palace with a postmark not from 2016 on it, which would have been a long enough delay, but from 1916 on it. Yes, it was posted over a hundred years ago. Harry Lowe went to meet the man who finally opened it. When this envelope dropped through the letterbox of a South London flat, the recipient was in for a surprise. Initially presumed it was from 2016, but then noticed that on the stamp it's actually king rather than a queen. On closer inspection, Finlay realised it had been sent over a century ago from Bath in Somerset. In 1916, George V was king and World War I rationing had yet to be introduced. We were pretty shocked, as you can imagine, um, slightly baffled as to how it could have conceivably happened. Um, and then just really curious. As more than 100 years had passed, he and his girlfriend decided to see what's inside. It's written by someone called Christabel to their friend Katie, who was uh, yeah, Mrs Oswald Marsh. She's apologising for what she said to her the other day. It opens with, will you lend me your aid? I'm feeling quite ashamed of myself after saying what I did at the circle. But obviously it never got through so. It was posted from one wealthy family to another. Christabel Manell writing to her friend Katie Marsh, the wife of stamp dealer Oswald. For local historians, this arrival offers a welcome window on our past. It doesn't happen every day, no. It's something you can spend days and weeks researching people and then all of a sudden you hit a gold mine and that's what's happened here. A gold mine, is that how you'd think of it? I do, yes, because there's so much information just within a couple of days' research. In a statement, Royal Mail said, Incidents like this happen very occasionally and we are uncertain what happened in this instance. It seems a pretty incredible occurrence, but I suppose it would have just... Um got hidden somewhere in a sorting office that's been in operation for over 100 years and, um, and someone's dug it up and just stuck it in with the day's post. Um, but pretty amazing that it would be sat there all that time. With many deliveries disrupted during the past few months' postal strikes, this feels like a case of letter late than never. Harry Lowe, BBC London. Wow, what a story.